Hey guys, so I'm in the all new Ford Bronco. I'm going to take you on a little test drive real quick so you can kind of see uh, what it feels like to ride in a Bronco. These are awesome. This is not the Bronco Sport, by the way. So there is a difference if y'all don't know. Uh, there's a big Bronco and there's a little Bronco. This is the big Bronco. And I wanted to, I turned the fan off in here. I just kind of want to drive and so you can listen to it with the soft top. It sounds good. It's not very loud in here at all. That's one of the things I really like about this car. Uh, I drove one the other day and here's one thing I really noticed about it is these, the handling is fantastic. It, it really is. I mean, if, cause everybody kind of compares it to Jeep, I'm going to as well. So Jeeps are a little bit rougher. Uh, I do like Jeeps. And when we were in Hawaii, we drove a Jeep but I will take one of these over a Jeep any day, I'm telling you right now. This thing is, uh, it's really cool. Uh, it does have the soft top. It kind of has a little bit of a Jeep feel to it, but uh, it's more, it's way more refined. Um, it does have the independent front suspension, which makes it ride a heck of a lot nicer uh, than a Jeep. I'm driving the Sasquatch package right now, and you can hear, I mean, I'm talking at a normal tone, but what I want to do is I want to get this on the highway real quick so you can hear what it sounds like at highway speeds just driving it uh, down the highway and see what the noise level is like so it's very quiet I mean this one has a box in the back that's for storage and I'll, I'll kind of go over that real quick too so when you hit a bump, you can hear something squeaking in there because somebody left some cups in there. So, but other than that, I mean, as far as the wind noise goes, it's it's very very light. It's uh, surprisingly well. So uh, let me um, let me get on the highway. I'll turn the camera back on. We'll go from there. But I just want to give you a little overview of it. The, like I said, the handling is great. It's got the independent front suspension uh, instead of the solid axle and it does ride really good so um, this one's got the 2.7 in it which is a pretty stout motor it's got plenty of power when you push on it but okay so here we are we're about to get on the highway i'm just about to take the turn to get on uh, i just wanted you to see kind of it does have the sync 3 so it's got the carplay the android auto the stuff that you'd want on it. This also has a blind spot monitoring on it, which is a cool feature to have on this. Uh, the dashboard's really cool. It's mostly digital. And then you can see the blind spot monitoring in the mirror. So we're getting on the highway now. And I'm just gonna... You can see it's got plenty of power. I mean, it sped up really fast. And like I said, this is highway driving, so you can get a feel for the noise in it. It's, I mean, you can definitely tell it's a soft top, but it's not, it's not so unbearably loud that you can't have a conversation. Uh, the AC works great in this thing. It's not even on right now, but I'm gonna turn it on real quick. But you can see it's got the dual climate control. The AC, it's got the auto stop feature to help save on gas. Here's the different drive modes as well, the GOAT modes as they call them. Uh, you've got all the power windows and stuff in the middle, so you can take the doors off if you want to. Uh, just a really nice, it's a nice Bronco. I'm gonna go over it real quick. Once I get off the highway, I'm gonna go to another location and then I'm gonna get out and we'll do like a little overview real quick. So here it is, the Bronco Sasquatch package it comes with the 35 speed locks, uh, front and rear locking differentials. This has the 2.7 liter. It's got 315 horsepower and it gets an estimated 18 to 20 miles a gallon. So a uh, pretty nice vehicle, just a cool looking car. I mean, everybody loves the Bronco, right? So I, I really like some features on this car. I like that it has blind spot monitoring. I like the 2.7. It's, it's got good power. Um, this has the seats in it. You can see the floors. They're like rubberized so you can just clean it out. The seats, it's got kind of a leather feel to it. Uh, you got some handles everywhere. Bronco nameplate. 
there's your uh, goat modes, of course, and then it does have the Sync 3. I mentioned that a little bit ago. So, and then look at all these accessory switches it has. So that's neat because if you want to like add light bars and stuff like that, that's where you can do that at and not have that problem of a bunch of stuff in your car. So I'm also going to do this. I'm going to put the car seats in here. I know that's a thing that I do, but um, there's a lot of people that have families and, and they want to know, hey, do, do the car seats fit? It looks like it's going to fit to me. I've got my truck right here, which I'll have to use my four pass to get into because I left my keys at my desk. So, um, but I'm going to switch the car seats over to it and then just let you get a look at it both ways, front and back. Uh, the seats are all the way back right now, so you can kind of see the room you have in there. I'm 6'4". I'll just do a shot. My knees are kind of, I'm a little crunched up, but I got plenty of headroom, which is good. Um, and I think with the soft top, that definitely provides the headroom. But uh, let me put the top down too. I'll do some things here, shoot some pictures, and we'll go from there. But uh, all in all, really nice vehicle. They did a really good job with it. If you didn't know, guys, uh, by the way, look on Ford's website and you can look at the history of Ford. They built 300,000 Jeeps. Like that was the design and they built 300,000 Jeeps for uh, the war when they first came out. So they know what they're doing when it comes to these uh, utility vehicles. But check this thing out. It's, it's really cool. Let me show you. All right, so here's thing. what I did. I did one forward, one rear facing. Okay, so you can kind of see. So rear facing, that's where it's at. I got it right against the seat. So the seat's as far back as it'll go. Um, that would be a rear facing, okay? So this is how much room I got in the front. Now I'm tall, so six foot four. Yes, I can fit in there. It's not as comfortable. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's not as comfortable as the Bronco Sport, which is a smaller vehicle. But I just think the way, I feel like the way it's laid out, um it's a little more comfortable with the three car seats in there and even here's what i'm thinking okay there's really not that much room in the middle now the bronco sport remember we put three car seats in there i mean i can just stretch my hand across there almost and touch them both i don't think you could do three car seats in here if you had the right car seats maybe but i really just don't see it so the other thing i wanted to show you the back it opens up like this. Uh, this is that box I was talking about. Kind of rattly a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't put it in mine just because I don't like, it just sounds funky. Those are just some accessories you can add. But uh, the door closes like, like so. And it's got, notice it's got the, uh, the keyless. So you can just walk up to it with the smart key. Um, and then it's got a shock here too. So you're not, taking on the whole weight of it and that's a big old tire on there but that's that sasquatch package so this is the the forward facing seat i mean it does have a little bit of room there it depends on how tall your uh, tall your uh, child is you know so i think two car seats you could probably do pretty comfortable you can be okay if it was me i would put you know the forward facing behind me that way if my kids aren't riding with me i could stretch out a little bit and you could drive it it would be okay but uh as far as like three car seats go i just don't see it in this one um and i hate to say that because i really thought i was surprised because we, we fit three car seats in the mini bronco the little bronco sport and it was good you could probably fit three in here with the right ones but man look how close that is to the seat i ain't even tried closing the door yet see how solid that sounds and you got some space. I mean, you might be able to squeeze three in there, but man, it would be tight. I think I think two would be max for me. I wouldn't go more than that. But uh, that's what I would do. But if you're looking at a Bronco, I mean, these things are cool. Uh, and then everybody's like, well, you know, the turbo motor. I'm like, well, you know what? The turbo motor's been around since 2009. The EcoBoost has, if you guys didn't know. And uh, the turbo motor... You know, it's just like one of those other things that Ford engineers and pioneers and everybody makes fun of them when they're doing it. And then they go, wow, that works well. Maybe we should do that too. So you're starting to see those turbo engines in the GMs and you're also seeing them in the new Jeeps even. So uh, the, the turbo engine is proven technology. 
you got uh, this is how you take the top down, unlock, just throw it back. And then you just push this down, you could fold it back some more. I'm not gonna take the whole thing off, but you get the idea. Really cool car. Not seeing a whole lot of them. Uh, most of them that I got are pre-sold. This one, they luckily they put it in loaner status so I can at least shoot a video for y'all. Um, like I said, really cool car. Just one thing I did notice here, and it's just what they're going for. They're not going for a luxury ride on this one. You know it, it rides really well with that. Thanks again, and guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, Huffy sells cars. This is Huffy, and uh, I would love to help you out if you need. If you're looking for a new vehicle, if you just like watching my videos, I'm cool with that too. Um, just keep me in mind. And uh, if you have any questions, you want me to shoot anything? Like you're like, hey, what if we did this or that? I don't care. I'll shoot it for you. Just just send me a message or or just post it in the comments, and I'll look at it and shoot you a video. All right, guys. Have a good day.